Hey everybody. Well, I've owned Snow Day for about 48 hours now, and I wanted to give an honest opinion and review of what this game's really like. In other words, kind of what you're not going to see on the websites and influencers that are paid to, you know, make the game look good. So here we go. You know, I, I, uh, I'm a fan of all things South Park. I've never missed an episode. I've tried to play most of the games along the way. I, I played the last two, loved them. Um, didn't play Phone Destroyer. That's not really my bag. So we'll kind of exclude that one from it because that's a whole different animal anyway. In comparison to the last uh, two games, I can say this. You know, the, the last two... Uh, had a lot of Easter eggs, they had a lot of uh, plots from the show, a lot of inside jokes, a lot of humor. Um, you know, specifically, like you could walk into a house and you could hear something on the TV or um, run into a character that's maybe a real minor character on the on the uh, show, and they might show up in the game. Um, and it, in my opinion, that's what made the last two games a lot of fun to play and and you could play over and over again. As far as this new game goes, it's a good concept. Uh, it's a good idea um, for uh, a new game. It looks really good. It's very smooth. The co-op uh, and the uh, overall 3D look of the game is really nice. They did a great job with it. On the other side, this isn't an open world game like the last two were. Uh, outside of the initial opening and a few little pieces here and there, you're not really going to get those Easter eggs that you saw in the last two that you're looking forward to. And really, quite honestly, during the gameplay, it's not that funny. So some of the cutscenes, like this one that's up right now, you see some things, and, the, and there's some little jokes in there, and it's kind of funny, but you're just not going to see those references back to the show that you saw in the other two. Replayability wise, you know what? I, I'm not going to play this game anymore uh, after my initial playthrough. It was fine. It's very short. Um, but this is the kind of game that, you know, hey, you might jump online with your friends and you might play on a you know, Friday, Saturday night, and get a few laughs here and there, or, you know, enjoy hanging out, talking to each other. It's more like a party game um, than anything else. The character creation also just didn't feel uh, as good as it did in the last two games. You know, there wasn't that uh, feeling of being able to, to really customize your character as much as you could in the other ones. You know, there's a few choices here and there. As you can see, I just went with the uh, the cred uh, stuff from the last uh, special just because I thought that was pretty funny and it was uh, better than the other options. Like I said, I, I'm no game pro or journalist or blogger or anything like that. Just a normal everyday guy that I'm a South Park fan, and I like to play some games here and there with some of my kids um, and some of my friends. But really, this game just didn't do anything for me. I was so excited for this game to come out, I could hardly wait. Um, and I got to tell you, within the first 30 minutes of playing it, I just was pretty disappointed. I guess the only silver lining here is that it's only $30. I spent 40 because, you know, you could get this uh, special underpants gnomes uh, outfit, and who doesn't love the underpants gnomes? Um, but in that case, at least it wasn't $70 like some of the others. So overall, I don't know, I'd probably give this a solid 5 or 6 out of 10. Uh, again, it's good for a few laughs. It's good for something to pick up if you're just looking for something to kill some boredom uh, you know for a few minutes here and there but you're not gonna come back to this game over and over and over like you might have with the other two
Now go find yourself a weapon. Well, I hope you found this uh, review helpful. And if you would, do me a favor, just reach down there, hit that like and subscribe button. That really helps me grow my channel. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring you some more uh, videos in the future with some new games. If there's something out there that you want a, an opinion on, uh, you'd like to see me try and play, um, just leave it down there in the comments. And uh, I'll see what I can do to get it on the channel as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.